Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. I've been requested a lot to do something from Five Nights at Freddy, and I, I'm not really as familiar with the game, I guess, as a lot of other people are. So I started looking at what I could make from the game, and obviously the first thing that comes to mind is the big characters in the game. And in particular, why not do the main event and do Fozbear? So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm, I'm templating it all out. If you want to make your own, you can. And from what I can tell from just looking at images, making some of the other characters will be as simple as just changing the shape of the ears. So today we are going to make Voss Bear from Five Nights at Freddy. Let's get to building. I started with some 6mm EVA and traced out my template. After so many builds, I still am surprised to get comments like your template is missing pieces or what size foam do I use. I write the size foam on every template piece that I've ever made and most of my templates are symmetrical so that means you only need half of it. To get the other side of the template, you just turn the pattern label side down and trace it again. The cover page on my template also gives info about angle cuts, copies of parts, and a list of materials as well. Another frequent question that gets asked is, can I use a hair dryer instead of a heat gun? And the answer is no. My heat gun gets to over 1100 degrees, the average hair dryer only gets around 140, and it just doesn't have enough power to really heat up the foam and make it pliable. So I heat up the parts and push them around something round to put a bend in my parts. The thing that you typically see me use is a glass dome that's the cover for my back porch light. Since this is a relatively big mascot style head, I glued the head base up in two parts. The first pass I put contact cement in all the darts, waited a few minutes, and then stuck them closed. These wedges are what allows the flat foam to pull into a round shape. Pull the pieces as flush on the outside as possible so that you limit the amount of sanding you have to do later. For the second pass, I put contact cement on all the edges and began putting parts together using those registration marks. I try to name my parts positions on the head when making a mask so you understand the orientation on your face. If any of this goes too fast, you can hit the settings gear on the video itself and slow down the playback speed on it. Once you have both halves assembled, join them in the middle. I could see this easily being converted into another cartoon character or a video game character or something. 
simply by changing the jaw or adding another detail. The jawline is simple and glued separately for now. It'll get joined to the rest of the head here in a second. I position the jaw into place where I like it, then I mark it on both pieces, on both sides, and then I put contact cement in those areas to glue them together. I also use small pieces of EVA on the inside to reinforce that connection. For the nose to lay straight across, I had to cut a small little wedge out of some 6mm EVA, that's what you see on the table that I'm sticking on the bottom here. Then I sanded the seams on the front and the back flush and stuck it onto my snout. Once I got the eyebrows into position, then I put down the circles for the eyes. Not any particular reason other than it helped me with an alignment a little bit. I also went in after cutting the holes and glued down a strip of 2mm EVA on the inside for his droopy looking eyelids. For the ears, I glued together two pieces of 10mm EVA and heat formed them around a smaller round object than before. Then I used my Dremel to round over the back a little bit more and also hit the edges on the front side.
The ears stand off of his head in the game with a little bit of some rectangular metal to allow him to move. I'm just going to glue a small piece of 10 millimeter EVA that I rounded over the corners with onto the bottom here and then I glued that onto the head. I made a quick little top hat out of some more 6mm EVA and left it unglued to the rest of the head until after paint to make it easier on myself instead of having to mask off a bunch of stuff so I didn't get paint where I didn't want it. The teeth are not templated out, they are just more small pieces of 10mm EVA that I rounded the corners off, just like I did with the ear connectors. I use super glue on small parts like this because it is quicker. Two coats of Plasti Dip, then black for the hat and a mix of brown spray paints for the head. His snout is a little lighter brown, so I'm gonna use some Plat Effects paint and hand paint the rest of the details on. Once I got the base colors on and dried, I dirtied him up a little bit with some brown and black paint all over. I super glued on his hat. I thought about using ping pong balls, but decided to go simple and just paint on his eyes to this sheer fabric you've seen me use before. Even with the paint on, you can still see through the fabric.
to keep the fabric stretched out and make it easier to glue on the inside of the head I cut out some two millimeter EVA into these rings and then glued that down onto the eyes then the whole frame assembly can be glued on the inside of the head easily finished here is the end result overall I think it turned out pretty good I did some things that probably could have been done a little better I built him kind of quickly and I didn't really cover my seams that well so there's a lot of seam marks here that could easily be filled with some um, sealant and easily patch those cracks up or you could take another route and make those battle damage or uh, parts of him that are breaking off and just put wires or fuzz or something coming out of it to to give the illusion but I just painted it um, just a little bit of rough brown slapped all over the place and I, I think it turned out alright so yeah maybe you will try and make one of these animatronic mascot heads yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to make something super super creepy yeah maybe you'll get some Yay! and inevitably they're gonna ask you how'd you make that you can give them one of these and tell them much props so uh it does go on my head Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>